Hey guys, I confirmed that I found the problem. So technically I'm measuring with my oscilloscope. This is the switch signal, uh, which switches between uh, first and second IS uh, uh, LC7820, uh, right? So, and uh, this signal is right here. It goes to pin 28 and pin 13. So these two are like um, work in reverse. So when one work, other is like not active and vice versa. And this signal is switching between uh, these two microchips. And each of these microchips has a couple latches, right? So it's uh, like multiplexer, it's four groups by four pins, right? which get multiplexed into four uh, outputs which connected to the CPU bus. And here is like the digital code which enables one over other. And this is uh, the large, not large, the switching signal. We are currently observing on the oscilloscope which uh, makes it on and off, okay? Um, so what's happened? Um, when I was looking the first time, the amplitude was like uh, 0.5 volts. <coughs> so technically, excuse me, it was like deck was sitting on the on this side and something gets like uh, bent on this board. And the only thing I did today is like went through this trace and clean it everything all like uh, debris around this trace and as you may see it works so here is confirmation play divide from the records so everything works right so and now it's like five volts amplitude and before it was 0 0.5 volts so Samsung definitely gets shorted and didn't allow it to work properly Luckily, the CPU is fine, the microchips are fine. So let me run it for a couple hours to observe uh, and if it uh, will continue to work fine. So probably it would be time to assemble. Oh, see, it's starting, drop. Oh my gosh. It just dropped it half a volt. You see, it started to jump and I did nothing. Wow. So technically something something gets right. And when it gets like to the low levels it will start behave surprisingly. Still works. Why? Oh, see it's dropped and now it doesn't work. Why? Oh, yeah. When it's high it works. When it's low it doesn't work. Oh, something gets wrong with this bus. So probably one of these two chips. Let me try, let me clean all, all traces for these chips. Maybe something gets stuck there. It was like deck was sitting on the side, so probably it was like bent a little bit. I'm not sure. Season. Okay, everyone. I now can consistently reproduce the issue by bending the board. Now it works, and now it doesn't. And here what happens on the oscilloscope. That's me. So here I bend the board with this direction, nothing, and other direction, everything works. So definitely something gets wrong on the board. I even tried like, to install the short, it uh, didn't help. All right, so let me try to find out. You see this wire, so then it that didn't help. So definitely something gets wrong here. And guys, I'm continuing my research and I did a cut on the trace, right? To um, separate CPU from these two uh, microchips. And when I measure CPU signal, it stayed still, right? And it's fine. 
but when I measure the level I pull up with resistor right here this level is changing by itself so you see it just reduced again so those sporadic issues are coming from these two microchips now I will disconnect the other one I will identify which one is bad but luckily I ordered two of this they should come soon but so let's find out which one is better really this one or other one because some of them like um, pulling the, to the ground and it's an input okay so something really gets wrong I sold it's a board but um, I'm already resold it all chips I did lots of other stuff and it didn't help it still runs sporadically all right so let me see see soon okay I removed the short uh, here from the other side disconnected this one uh, connected this one to the ground and this one now just sitting alone on the power supply with a resistor and it sits still so looks like this microchip is good and the problem with the top one so let me switch back so this will be sitting on the ground and other one will be connected to the power with resistor and let's see if it's the reason and i swapped the connection so now top chip has plus five volts and it gives me trouble sits fine and then started to shoot you see by itself i do nothing it started to shoot to the ground Can you see not fully but like half of it to three volts to two volts whatever so I need to discover what's wrong with this top chip right here and yes here I just connected the resistor directly to the pin and it just behaves practically you see it, 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 it lives by its own life so this microchip is doomed all right let me desolder it and now guys when the bad microchip has been removed uh, it sits right here I restore the traces and I'm measuring and uh, these levels are looks to be good and I bend the board and nothing happens anymore so this little microchip was a root cause so now I have to wait while this will be shipped and deliver it this may take a while from my experience up to two weeks so let me see if it will work no this button doesn't work so that's why we will have to wait and see all right see you in my next adventures bye bye